Christopher Nolan series. With Dunkirk right around the corner, I thought it'd be fun to talk about the Christopher Nolan films that I haven't yet reviewed on my channel, and that means following his very first film, which was made for a budget of $6,000. This is one of the least expensive films ever made that had a theatrical release, and this film is about a man who begins to grow an obsession with following people around. He doesn't want to do anything to them, he's not a serial killer, he's just very interested in people. He's fascinated by their everyday lives, where they go to work, where they drink their coffee, and eventually someone he follows notices and comes up to him and says, look, you like doing this? You want to take it one step further? Let's go to people's houses. Let's break in and see what we can find. Let's learn about their lives from the inside, not just by following them. And similar to Nolan's next film, Memento, following has a very fractured narrative. Sometimes we jump forward in time and then we jump backward. Unlike Memento, which breaks these sequences up by showing some in color and some in black and white, this entire film is in black and white, and so we're able to tell the difference between time periods because the main character has changed his hairstyle, or sometimes we'll get an insert shot of something that's confusing, like him coughing up a rubber glove, and we won't understand why that's imperative to the story until much later. So legend says that Nolan was only able to shoot this movie on weekends and for a very short period of time with actors that he knew. That took him a long time to make. The film is very short already at like barely 70 minutes. And so it took him apparently about a year to make this movie because he was very constrained by the schedule of everyone working on this movie. And this movie is a great example to show people that you do not need a gigantic budget or A-list stars or really a studio behind you at all to be able to make a film that's good. It's an investing story told in a unique way from the perspective of a filmmaker who has a voice. And it's not about special effects, it's not about amazing camera work, it's just about the moments between characters. And eventually some big reveals that happen along the way. For his first real movie in such a small budget, this is actually kind of amazing. He was able to take a story and portray his voice accurately through the camera. And if you go back and read those early reviews from the late 90s when this movie hit, a lot of critics called Nolan a great rising talent, and they were right. He has gone on to prove that he can do considerably better than this. I don't consider following a great film by any means. It's far too short to get really invested in the characters. Some of the acting can get a little iffy. It's mostly pretty good. But the action sequences, including a close quarters combat scene and a scene that involves a hammer and some fingers, really do not look realistic at all, and you can tell that Nolan and the actors just weren't really prepared for that type of stunt work, and it shows through pretty obviously in the film. Also, I saw Memento first, and then later went back and watched Following, and you can see the shades of what he wanted to do, the bigger picture of what he wanted to do with the narrative in Following that he eventually perfected in Memento, and we'll talk about that soon. But with this film, you can tell that he hadn't quite cracked the perfect way to do a fractured narrative, but he came super close. I think Following is a very good film, especially considering its very small budget. I'm gonna give it a B. So guys, stay tuned for more Nolan reviews. I'm going to review every film of his that I haven't already reviewed on my channel. So that means Memento, Insomnia, The Prestige, and believe it or not, Batman Begins. I have a Dark Knight review and a Dark Knight Rises review on my channel, but not Batman Begins. I know, I, I wanna slap myself in the face, to be honest. Bad Chris. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck -manized.